Hello everybody, welcome to an another Immortal Treasures chest opening. This is treasure number two. It's been a bit delayed, but I think it's going to be worth it, as you will all see very soon. Uh, I don't know if I should go over every single actual item and what it brings to the table, because Neil's actually making a video as we speak, so that should be out. Maybe it's even going to be before this is uploaded. I have no idea. But if you want to see exactly what you're going to get either way for that video or there's some representation uh, or they show some of it off on the website so you can take a look if you want so what we're going to do is open it up the good old-fashioned way I want to show you guys how many levels of the compendium you actually need to well, let me go back I forgot where I have to go okay so you need level 130 to get at least all the basic ones okay because there's six treasures. Uh, there's six items within the treasure. So level 130, I had to upgrade again. That means when Immortal Treasure 3 comes out, I either need, I think I might need level 150. I think that's the max you'll need to get all of them, not including the rares, of course. Uh, don't quote me on the Treasure 3, but definitely for Treasure 2, you need 130. Okay, so I just received these in my inventory, these nice little treasures. We also got the Wyvern Hatchling as well, which I don't think I have them all upgraded. I have the, well, this is the basic one that you get. And I think Neil's making a video on this as well. Uh, there's a fire upgrade, which I have because it's one level 130. Uh, I'm not sure. You can look it up, whatever you need for the gold one. All right, so mortal treasure number two. The first one is the basher blades. These are blades for the good old anti-mage and the little skull basher as well applied to it. It gives a custom... Does it really not say? Alright, we're just gonna have to flip-flop between these two to see. So it gives custom bash, mana break, and mana void abilities. And again, I'm not gonna... You guys don't need to watch that because you just don't need to, okay? Jewel of... Is it Eons, I believe? Is a shoulder for faceless void. Very nice. This gives a custom... Uh, the hex his blink called time walk gives a custom time walk looks pretty cool we have the resistive pinfold for disruptor which is this back piece this gives you a custom kinetic field we have a Sven vigil signet which is this shield here it gives a custom war cry the tormented staff for leshrac uh, I think it said it gives a custom attack animation or attack particle or whatever, but more importantly, the split earth is changed. And obviously it's this staff. And the last one that we're guaranteed to get is the roller monster. I'm probably mispronouncing this horribly. Probably some reference, I have no idea. For Tinker. One second. There we go. Uh, which, is this a headpiece? Yeah, it's a helmet. Cool. It gives custom animation for his... March of the Machines, which actually looks pretty sick, not going to lie. Not, I don't really play this hero, but it's still pretty sick. Then we have a very rare Arms of Desolation. This is custom attack animation. I say animation. That's not actually technically what it is. It's just the particle effect, but I haven't seen this one personally. This is obviously the arms he's been lifting. Anytime you ask, do you lift, bro? For Shadow Fiend, is a definite yes. And then the extremely rare this time, basically the same as the Anti-Mage, except the earlier one that we're going to get for sure, except it's golden. So similar to the way they did the first treasure with Aluna. Okay, let's open it up. Alright. Are we going to get both rares this time? I'm going to say probably not, but we'll see. Man, ever since they changed it to instant item gives giveaways, I, I haven't been getting very good luck. Okay, I'm getting scared now, guys. I'm getting really scared. I like the Shadow Fiend one. I mean, I don't really play Anti Mage, so I don't care about that one. Oh, crap. We're not going to get any of them. And I don't have a cat to hold. Oh. Oh, man. Do I pray to RNGs? Is it worth it? I mean, these are cool. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let it be. Damn it! 
I used all my luck on the first chest, which is fine. I think the first chest, uh, I play more of the heroes in that chest, I think. So that's okay by me. Uh, let us know what you guys think of this immortal chest. How does it rank up versus the first chest and all that good stuff? Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Look forward to the video that Neil's making, like I said, to show each effect in its entirety. And until next time, Suns fans signing out. Later, guys.